like about the cheat outs. Uh, I like to play. I like to do my homework. It helped me a lot with like math and science and uh, like if I need a project, I can just come here. I don't have to sit up at home until three o'clock in the morning. I like to come to the treehouse because it's a good place to come after school because I get to play with the helpers and there's a bunch of computer games and all that stuff. I like to play. You like to play? I like to play the computer. We've been swimming before and we have been camping and we have been it's fun and it has good helpers and they know stuff that we don't know. There's like <laughs> dictionaries and books and we don't have that maybe at home but they do here. Project Renewal is a neighborhood development program in the inner city of Davenport, Iowa. The area has a large concentration of low income people, elderly, socially deprived children, drug-dependent parents, dysfunctional families, and unemployed youth. Project Renewal works with all members of the neighborhood, but since its beginning, children have been the primary focus. Project Renewal is a uh, program that was started here 30 years ago by Sister Concetta Benicenti. She saw the kids playing on the railroad track and uh, she was walking to work and uh, realized they needed, she lived right down the street, so she realized that the, the children or families needed help. So uh, she wanted to be uh, not an outsider coming in, but the next door neighbor. She got the house down at 906 West 5th, and uh, which is called Nazareth House today. And uh, volunteers came to help her, and they served the children and the families uh, in this neighborhood. And it just grew and grew, and they started uh, uh, other programs. and. Uh, after she died, we got the park over there, named it after her. We focus mainly just on um, the children and their families. Every day after school, we work with the children to help them with their schoolwork. We have activities, recreational edu and educational, to provide them with some positive activities to do. We work with a lot of families, especially the kids that have great needs. Um, for an example, they don't get, in, most of them do not get a lot of educational support at home. We provide that at Project Renewal. During the school year, the fact that they're staying in a positive environment keeps them out of the streets. Um, the help we give them with school, um, tutoring for an example, uh, those are great benefits for them. Every day after school we have volunteers who come in to be mentors and foster, you know, building positive relationships and just to interact with them and someone from the outside, college students, community members, anyone who can share their own talents and time with the kids to show them there is another way of life or they can do other things, you know, and alternatives to what may be going on in their homes or in our neighborhood that isn't so positive. During summertime we have a summer program. Uh, we own Sister Conceda Park and we have a summer program for the kids. Uh, from 8.30 to 2, 2.30 uh, every day. When I went to Sister Conchetta Park across the street for their summer park program, and that's where I met Anne, and uh, she just gave me the chance to be a child again. At 10, I was sexually abused by my mother's living boyfriend, and it went on for a period of five years. And um, basically, it was them I turned to because I trusted in Anne and Carl. I confided in them. and. I basically revealed the abuse to Carl first, and then it, Carl told Anne, and she was able to call the social services, uh, Department of Human Services, to help me out. Most of the children are low income. They come from low income families. Almost exclusively, all the kids do need additional um, help with school stuff. So that's, I think, the main need. Some of the children come from homes where, you know, maybe the parents didn't graduate from high school and for sure don't have a college education. Um, maybe they don't even have a job. And some of them, you know, that's all they know. That's, so that's why they think, well, you know, <laughs> a lot of us grow up thinking I'm going to be like my mom or my dad, but a lot of them don't even know their mom or dad or don't see them or don't see them, see them being productive or active in our community. There's kids that come from abused homes or they're neglected or they're not getting the educational or moral support that they need. And uh, 
project renewal kind of fills that void. Volunteers have a stabilizing impact on the lives of children and their day-to-day -day love and support enables the sleeping beautiful self-child in each of us to awaken. Educating, building self-esteem and affirming each child for his or her individual worth are the paramount goals of Project Renewal. Youth groups, church members, Boy Scouts, retired persons and people from all walks of life volunteer at Project Renewal. I have students volunteering at Project Renewal because it's a great after school program and, and it bolds everything that St. Ambrose needs in, in, in our mission to uh, give back to the community, which Project Renewal does. And it's one of the uh, very important aspects and it's a great relationship between the St. Ambrose uh, community and the uh, Project Renewal community as well. I started with it just being a work study program job for me and I just fell in love with the kids. I just absolutely love it, what I can do for them. I've learned a lot about different cultures and different society like incomes and just how different families work. I think it's really good for this area. They really tie into a lot of the community like like the Halloween parades and the Christmas and they do a 4th of July thing. They really get the community involved and I like that a lot. Because of the kids. Yeah, they're really great and it's, it's hard to like say no. <laughs> you know they need help and it's great to be there for kids. People um, who come here to volunteer or just find out about us are usually amazed that just simple things like inviting someone to play a game with them or color with them or wanting to listen to them read, you know, means a lot. I really believe in what they're doing and the way they're doing it, working directly with people and being living role models. So I've always supported it in any way that I could. In this world full of wonder, this gift of creation, Home of all the children here and those yet to come. Seed by seed, in good soil, in good time, love can grow for the family of all of life. We pride ourselves in evolving with time, and in 10 years, hopefully, Project Greenwell will still be here providing for the families and kids. and doing things better than we are right now. Hopefully we can expand the um, um, tutoring and educational help for kids. That's what we try to emphasize mainly. And hopefully we'll be financially stable to a point where we don't have to worry about fundraising as much as we do now. We want to continue being our positive presence and offering those things. And we're here 24-7.